Here's a first look at the Bitmain E3 Ethereum Miner. It's about twice the size of a S9. Uh, two fans, but they're both on the same side. Controller looks pretty normal. Two power cords per hash board. Just three boards. Pulling 760 watts from the wall. It took about 10 minutes to boot up. I guess that was it making the DAG file. Here it is now. Getting 200, 201, 205. I guess that's 200 mega hashes. It was supposed to do 180, I think. So each board looks like it has two chips on it. Yeah, there's two chips on each board, 13 boards. And they're doing 22-ish each. Temps are pretty low. All right, I'm gonna let it run for a few minutes and then I'm gonna take it apart and see what's on the inside. All right, here it is with the fans off. What is that part right there? ESMT, that looks like a memory module. I'll have to Google that. So here it is, it looks like it's just running on DDR3, interesting. DDR3 SD RAM. I was thinking this was gonna have GDDR5 or something like that. It's a one gigabit, so it's gonna have a ton of those chips. All right, let's go back to the teardown. All right, here it is with the screen off, about to pull these boards out. I was just thinking, it's weird that there's only, or that there's 26. A6, but there's three boards. I wonder how that's divided. All right, here's one of the three boards taken out. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six little devices. Each one's got RAM on both sides. They're sitting on little like interposer boards. They're not directly soldered on the main PCB. get one of these out without breaking anything. So interesting, there's six on each. I wonder how they get 26, A6, with six, 12, 18 boards. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get one of these interposer boards out. All right, we got the interposer removed. Just a bunch of sockets for the passives. Let's see what's on the bottom. All right. All right, so it looks like the heat sink is screwed in, so I'll probably be able to take that off. I'll be back again in a minute. All right, here it is with the heatsink off. You can see there's 32 of those little one gigabit memory modules on it. So that's uh, four, yeah, four gigabytes of RAM. See, so these will last until the DAG gets to four gigabytes or proof of stake, most likely. They're all the same module. Here's the main chip. Nasty looking Tim on there. Um, I'm gonna wipe it off and see if anything's written on it. All right, here it is with the thermal paste cleaned off. It's a BM1790 Bitmain specific chip. It's a decently large chip. You can compare it to a 
DDR3 RAM chip there. Uh, that's about as far as I can go with it. So uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.